एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम So welcome to Ish Chand Academy. We'll be covering today Cauchy Integral Formula and Taylor Series in two parts of the video. Hi, I'm Dr. Neelam from Department of Applied Mathematics, Delhi Technological University, Delhi. For more details of the subject, you can refer to the book from Ish Chand Publishing. Details of which is given here, and link is given in the description box. So, in the first part of the video, we will cover the Cauchy integral formula. So, Cauchy integral formula is applicable to find out the value of the function at some point inside the curve C. So, we will start with the Cauchy integral formula. So, the Cauchy integral formula is used to find out the value of the function at some point inside the curve C. So, if we take this xy plane and this is our closed curve C and if at this any point A is there, then if we would like to find out the value of the function fz at z equals to A, then we will be using the Cauchy integral formula. So, if fz is a complex function, complex function then the value of the function at z equals to a will be calculated as 1 over 2 pi i integration of c over a closed curve the, this notation is for closed curve dz over z minus a. So, this is for the uh, we, we can find out the value of the function at z equals to a. Now, the nth derivative of this can also be found out. So, nth derivative of the value of the function at z equals to a will be factorial n over 2 pi i integration over c over this closed curve c dz over z minus a raised to the power n plus 1. So, if we name them as 1 and 2, so together they are named Cauchy integral formula and the, the advantage of Cauchy integral formula is that they uh, whatever point has been given inside this curve C, at any point inside this curve C, we can find out the value of the function by using this integration. And we already know that how to calculate this integration. It has already been discussed in the previous videos. So, we will take one example to make the things more clear. So, evaluate C dz over z minus 1, z minus 2, where C is given as the closed curve C has been given as mod of z equals to 1. So, the Cauchy integral formula can be used in either way, either in calculating the value of the function at that point or in calculating the integration which is given on the right hand side. So, if we compare this with the Cauchy integral formula, this will be, so for that we need to take this fz first. So, it is z minus 1, z minus 2. So, it is over z minus 2 minus 1 over z minus 1. So, which can be written as z minus 1 minus z of uh, z plus 2. So, uh, this partial fraction can be written like this. Therefore, now, this fz dz over z minus 1, z minus 2 can be written as c 1 over z minus 2 dz minus 1 over z minus 1 dz. So, it has been uh, separated into two integration. Now, in this one, if we compare this with the uh, Cauchy, integral, uh, Cauchy integral formula. So, the value of this integration will be equal to 1 over z minus 2 dz will be equals to 2 pi i, 2 pi i value of the function at z equals to 2. Now, since uh, it is, we can, we can see that this is 
mod of z is equals to let me take it as mod of z is equal to 3 first so mod of z equals to 3 now mod of z equals to 3 so point z equals to 2 is lying inside the uh, this curve lying inside this curve and it is analytic also so we can find out the value of the function so we can find the value of the function 2 pi i so 2 pi i and here the fz is 1 so value of the function will be 1 only so that's why the c 1 over z minus 2 dz will be 2 pi i because here the fz is 1 then we need to find out the value of the function this 1 over z minus 1 dz. So, if we compare it with uh, the Cauchy integral formula, so it will be fz over z minus a. So, a is 1 here. So, value of the function fz at 1, but here the function fz is 1 only. Therefore, this value is coming out to be 2 pi i. So, this will be, uh, so this is coming out to be c dz over z minus 1 z minus 2. So, it is coming out to be 2 pi i minus 2 pi i which is coming out to be 0 because this is showing us that from Cauchy integral theorem it is coming out to be 0 because the function uh, 1 over z minus 1 z minus 2 is analytic within and on this curve c. Now, let us change this integration. Let us change this value. So, if we take this C, fz let me take as sin pi z square, sin uh, pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 1, z minus 2, dz. So, if we compare this and mod of z is equals to 3. So, here the fz is sin pi z square plus cos pi z square. Yes, and so it can be written as c fz that is sin pi z square plus cos pi z square and we have already shown in the previous example by the partial fraction that it is coming out to be z minus 2 dz minus z uh, this function over z minus 1. So, the value of the function here will be 2 pi i f of f at 2 and where z is sin pi z square plus cos pi z square. So, it is coming out to be 2 pi i sin pi 2 square plus cos pi 2 square. So, it is 2 pi i sin 4 pi plus cos 4 pi and which we know it is coming out to be 1. So, it is coming out to be 2 pi i. And for the second part, so it will come, in, come out to be sin pi z square plus cos pi z square over, over z minus 1. So, this is analytic within, within and on this curve C. So, it is coming out to be 2 pi i and value of the function at the point z equals to 1. So, it is coming out to be 2 pi i sin pi plus cos pi. So, we can get value of them as minus 1. So, again it is coming out to be yes, z equals to 1 and z equals to minus 1. So, uh, we can find out the value of this by substituting the value of sin pi and cos pi. Now, we can see that that if the value of the function needs to be calculated at z equals to a. So, it is coming out to be 1 over 2 pi i integration f z over z minus a dz. So, uh, we need to differentiate between this f z and z minus a given. So, uh, f, uh, this the point a is lying inside the curve and the value of this function can be calculated at this point. Clear? And then we can find out the nth order derivative also of this. So, this can be represented as fz over z minus a raised to the power n plus 1 dz. Clear? So, if it is given as a c, 
dz over z minus 1. So, in this one, it should be clear that fz needs to be taken as 1 and whatever c will be given to us, that will be uh, representing as the closed curve within uh, uh, and this a point should be lying inside that curve c. So, here fz should not be taken as 1 over z minus 1, rather fz should be taken as 1 which because then only we can find out the value of fz, fz is 1 in this case at the value at the point 1. So, let, it, let me take this as z. So, here fz will be z. So, we need to find out the value of this function. So, it will be fz at z equals to 1 if c is let me say that mod of z is 3. So, so that this point is lying inside this curve c and even if we take mod of z equals to 2 then also this point will be lying inside this curve c. So, the value of the function at z equals to 1 can be found out where the, the function is given as z. So, it is coming out to be 2 pi i. So, that is how we have seen that Cauchy integral formula will be used to find the value of the function at any point where if the value of the function uh, fz needs to be found out at any point inside the curve c. So, if any curve c is given and we have been given infinitely uh, many points a, b, c and all. So, we can find out the value of this function all the points c inside the curve c. For more detail of the subject, you can refer to the book from Eschan Publishing, details of which is given here and link is given in the description box. I am sure you must have liked the video. Please do like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon for notification for upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.